there is an unhealthy, unhealthy meal and I can eat it with no consequences, it would be Chipotle. <laughs> I love Chipotle. It's, in it. it's really healthy, it's nutritious, it's, it's you know, burrito, <laughs> and it's like seven, six bucks. Eat it all up and I usually fall up. Take a nap. <laughs> so it serves as a night call sometimes. <laughs> But, and also in and out I love in and out Though, whenever you go to in and out you're never in and out You're like stuck in the drive through for 30 minutes. <laughs> and looking at all the cars. And wondering, I want to work in and out they get, they, they, they get paid $10 an hour. Why am I at my crappy job? <laughs> Adding on to unhealthy food, if there is one drink that I can drink without any consequences whatsoever, anybody want to take a guess? Okay. Okay. What's the one? Any alcohol. <laughs> any, any type of alcohol. Because I think I'm probably like a borderline alcoholic. And for those who have seen me, you probably think I am an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> and in defense, I would fortify with all the alcoholic by getting my keys to something because I don't need to be alive. Or doing safe rides. And then watching this girl take in my car. <laughs> <laughs> but if there's one, if like with the Chipotle and the Alcott, if we could just not have consequences for our eating, we would be fine. And then, but in reality, if we do that, we'd end up all, end up all like the fat people on Wally. We have motorized scooters and this robot wearing a bra. <laughs> and space blue parts, I don't know. <laughs> Is it able to pop master? Who wants a chocolate? Chipotle at Sac State. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 It's fake Mexican food. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I got a quote here, and you might appreciate this. Insofar as the mind is stronger than the body, so are the ills contracted by the mind more severe than those contracted by the body. That's Marcus Tullius Cicero. What are your strategies for a healthy and sound mind? John. Alright, so about a week and a half ago I really changed my life and it was, it was a really, really big deal for me. And ever since, it's been a, a really big opportunity. It's been a really big experience. So for, in a week and a half, I've achieved more than I feel I've achieved in my last 23 years. And what's better, I feel that I'm happier about it. I feel more energized when I wake up. I feel ready for my day, and I feel ready to do things that normally I'd be scared to death to do, such as jumping up here, or when I'm at work talking to people that I don't know. So what I decided to do to keep my mind healthy was to one, to myself, always say yes. Always say yes. Tell myself that yes, I can do it. Because the only person who I realized that was telling me that I couldn't achieve a goal or that I wasn't good enough was myself. So I removed the no and the I can't from my life and I said yes to myself. And that was a week and a half ago and I feel like a million bucks today and I cannot wait to go to sleep tonight so I can wake up tomorrow and say yes again. <laughs> Uh, another thing that I did that really was instrumental in allowing me to be the best possible person I can be today and every day thereafter was structuring my day. I normally enjoy waking up at 8 or 9 in the morning. If I'm really, really feeling bad, I'll do it like noon. Don't shoot me, that's terrible, why not? But I told myself I have long term goals and my goals are more important to me than my sleep. So I had things that I always wanted to do in my life and that I felt I was never able to grasp. And now I've told myself I'm going to do it. I'm going to grasp them. It is a reality of my life. That's who I am, not who I want to be. So I structure my day starting at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I know what I'm going to do. 7 uh, to 8 is the most important part. 6 a.m. to 7, I'm just I'm waking up. I'm working out and I'm eating good. I'm making a good meal. I'm making time for that. 7 to 8, it's personal growth. And I think that one is the absolute most important part to having a healthy mind. If you're not getting personal growth in your day in any way, small or large, you're really not living up to your full potential. So personal growth for me is striving towards my long-term goals. I just launched my first YouTube video. Some of you guys have probably seen it. 
and that was part of my long-term success plan. And I made that possible by waking up earlier and setting up those goals. So after, after eight, it's really just regular work all the way until five, and that's when I have free time again. So to really have a healthy mind and a healthy mind frame, you have to say yes to yourself, you have to structure your day, and you have to have fun to be passionate about what you do. Mr. Topics Master. John is just setting fires. He's a really good uh, role model and example for all of us. I, I think we could all agree. Um, definitely, the mind is is a powerful thing. So it's very uh, self defeating to have an attitude that keeps you down and prevents you from reaching your goals. So uh, great job, John. Awesome. All right, moving on here. Uh, if you could change anything about the food served on campus, what would that be and why? Garrett. So I realized that the trick to getting up for table topics is to raise your hand halfway through <laughs> them say what it is, otherwise someone else is going to jump off and grab it. So if I had to change one thing about what would be at the cafeteria or dining commons in Sacramento, no, sorry, Sac State, I would probably choose changing the grill and the hamburgers to be tastier, really. The meat is kind of subpar, I feel. I actually read a study that said that schools accept hamburger meat that has been rejected by other restaurants such as McDonald's and Jack in the Box. <laughs> and when I was eating at Sac State's Dining Commons and I had the hamburger, I had to think to myself, is this one of those places that does that? I bring that up because at the cafeterias in uh, elementary school, they have all types of grotesque food, like rectangular pizza. Where else have you ever seen a rectangular pizza? That is like the craziest thing. And I guess that's it. Thanks. All right, good job, Garrett. Okay, so we got time for one more question here. Let me just kind of dump through and see which one I should be off with. Here. Okay, how about this one? How important is the spiritual aspect of mind, body, and spirit to you? That's it. So many of us want to improve our lives, and we really focus on how we look and how we feel, our bodies, the tangible, the physical. That's really the focus. Of, you know, in a society, everybody wants to look good. But we never really focus on feeling good up here. And that's really what I realized. When I was younger, um, up until my late 20s, all I really cared about was how I looked to other people, if I was fit, you know, if my hair looked good, if I was wearing the right clothes. And I think many of you have probably gone through